Hello and welcome back everyone to La Milana Randomizer and in this episode we are still shop hunting to see where the other, uh, specifically where the other sacred orb that I know is in a shop some damn where is. Once we have, <laughs> once we know where it is, we're gonna go, go we're gonna go do some, uh, cash farming so that we can actually afford the sacred orb because right now we most certainly do not have enough monies for it. And then we will be purchasing the sacred orb. A uh, woo! Yay. All the nuanced shopkeepers along the way. We fell down from from too far, but first, let's go kill us a Kamatachi. Welcome. Kamatachi <laughs> is my least favorite mini boss in the in, in the game, and it's honestly, it's it's a mini boss that I always hold on until much later on, simply because I am not very good at it. There is there is a consistent pattern to him, but I have never bothered to learn it. Well, probably because you never had to die that many times on him, Mr. Gerda. Yeah, I am some kind of hook kitsune. Uh, not no, not a kitsune, a kamatachi, a whirlwind weasel. Ooh, look, an ox jewel! Yay! Okay. Please notice that we lost half of our health and we only got hit twice. Yeah, that's a real doozy right there. Kind of makes you wish you uh, memorized the boss's AI patterns. There is a finite number of them. All right, this game. This game's got nothing on. Uh, I can't remember what the Dark Souls 2D clone was. I mean, I get it's hard to say Dark Souls 2D clone Blasphemous? because Blasphemous. Not a bla Blasphemous is a really good is a really good Dark Souls 2D clone, but it's actually a game that came out before it. Is a game that I actually ended up putting down for good because fucking Death was a troll character who was trying to make me feel good that I was dying over and over again, but no. Please let me have my vengeance. I don't care for your diversion, because the game in itself is a diversion by nature, and I don't need a diversion inside my diversion in order to have a diversion. <laughs> uh, so, it most certainly wasn't uh, Dead Cells then, because I don't think Death actually talks to you in Dead Cells. And it's not Bloodstained either. Um, fuck. Yeah, it's, it's, it's alright. It, it, does, it doesn't matter. I'm probably never gonna end up picking that game back up again anyway, which is, which is a shame, because my buddy told me it was good. In the uh, speaking of, uh, there, someone actually went out and made a fan project, uh, to put Yarnum into a, uh, in, as a, uh, Zelda 3 clone. As a, Z Z Zelda, Zelda 3, as, as in A Link to the Past. Yeah, as in Link to the so Past. So they made an over-the-top, they, they made an over-the-top side-scrolling Yarnum. Yep, I, there's the sacred orb I, and the pushy I, I would have to take a look at that. And on the subject of things... Uh, there was an article on it uh, for and Game Facts, and it's currently got a free-to-play demo. But is it on PS4? I doubt Damn it. it. So, now... So, well, there you go, everybody. Now, Yarnum is no longer a PS4 exclusive. <laughs> 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 they finally did yeah. it. <laughs> for the record, with the... Uh, with the uh, Demon Souls remaster coming out, one of the big things that people are speculating on is that we are we are going to. God damn it, Pascal! Go do aim and shoot. You have shurikens. Use your guns, god damn it. No, don't use guns for aim and shoot because guns do not actually break pots. And what we have to do for this puzzle, we have to go and break that out without offending the miss, gods. We Yes, and if we miss, we end up getting shocked. But uh, we end up getting shocked by uh, by uh, uh, goddess lightning. Got it. There. Now that we have successfully done that, we can put a weight down here. Then we put ourselves there, and I believe that's Torud uh, slash snap sl slash snapshots. Snapshots uh, is required for a bunch of other a uh, bunch of different checks in the game. Specifically, ones we actually have access to right at the moment, but we would need to go get more bombs for it first. Now, I believe you were going to say something along the lines that people are speculating that once Demon Souls Remaster comes out, that means that Bloodborne actually is going to finally be on other consoles. Not specifically PC. 
When I mean, I guess it's time. I mean, it's been it's it's a, it, oh, dude, it has been more than time. Bloodborne's what 2014? 20 to 2015 actually. It was it was a PS4. It was a yeah, PS4 that, launch title. Yeah, that's five years. Dude, Dark Souls has been remastered twice in the amount of time it's been. Well, yeah, but Dark Souls also has you know it's been out twice as long as Bloodborne. But what I'm all I'm gonna say is I mean. The good news is, is that more people get to experience it for the first time. You know, people who just fucking don't have PS4, and believe me, I understand because, you know, people look at me funny when I say I don't have Xbox One. But what it's going to do is that the PS4 community is, you know, maybe they'll stick around, but, like, it's going to diminish. But I guess it's, again, it's it's time. It's every game must mature because it is a product and it is a market cycle. And we are in the maturation stage of the market cycle. We are also in the Chamber of Extinction. It is still dark here. We didn't manage to make it to the warp point last time, but that's what we're doing this time. We're going to get ourselves to the warp point. There's a couple of other checks that we, that we can do once we get to the warp point. And uh, then I think we'll be spending the rest of the episode attempting to set up for uh, the next big boss. See, La Mulana is so far matured that they actually have free-to-play versions of the game that allow you to randomize the fucking game mechanics. That's how... F oh, no, no, no. This randomizer is not free-to-play. This, uh, this... Uh, in order to... In order to make this randomizer work, you do need an official copy of the game. Okay, but again, like, they... Like, that's, that's the... That's the equivalent of using discounts or other incentives in order for you to buy what is already a matured product that how... That... Because of because of the free market, there are lots of substitutes for this game that came out since the game came out. They want to get sales in any way they can, and well, um, if uh, if randomization is up your alley, then we have a deal. I mean, yes and no. Like uh, as far as as far as additional versions, uh, additional versions of this game, not really. I mean, the only uh, additional version of this game. Actually, no, there, there isn't really an additional mer a version of the La Mulana remake aside from, uh, aside from the Wii port. And the Wii port, well, is on the Wii and, and is therefore, you know, not actually a thing that people are uh, playing at the moment. The subject of things that people ought to be playing, I think when Demon's Souls Remastered does come out, if it's on PS4, I'll, I'll give it, I'll try it. I, because I've been damn curious about that game. I have played very little of Demon Souls, but I did uh, I did enjoy what I was playing of it, with the exception of it still has the absolutely terrible when you die you lose all of your experience mechanic. That's why I don't play on anything uh, higher than normal in Diablo 2, and it's why I didn't uh, uh, spend all that much time in Demon Souls. Well, I mean Sekiro also has a mechanic that says that you can't really get your shit back when you die. Not really. We'll get into that when we actually do get into Sekiro. But does Demon Souls give you any remedy whatsoever? Um, I believe you have the, the ability to uh, recover on, on your checkpoint. We got the dimensional key. That'll be very important later. But I, I don't know. When it, when it happened the first time, I just put it down. Yeah. That's, that's demoralization. It is the process. Very demoralizing. It is the process of feeling like a dipshit. All right. So since we only need 20 coins, I think what we're going to do um, uh, to get our, our next... Uh, our next sacred orb is we're going to go in and do a small exploit that is technically on purpose but i'm not sure just how on purpose it is we're going to go to twin labyrinth there is a particular pot in twin labyrinth that always that always responds with 10 coins in it so what we have the ability to do is go hit that pot warp out to the uh, uh warp out to the um uh, grail point that is just two which is just uh, three screens away and then just do that loop over and over in order to get uh, the coins that we need. I don't like doing this loop all that much, especially at the end of the game when I have an additional 800 coins that are, that are mostly unspent, but I kind of need this sacred orb, so I think that's what we're going to go do. Gerda, would it, would it give you comfort if I told you that I probably spent more than 10 hours just grinding in Sanctuary? No. Okay. <laughs> You see, this is Pascal that's saying, I don't want to go do the loop, but I probably should. It's, you, you have two choices. Do the loop, get the money, spend the time, and appreciate how slow it is that you will get the achievement. The alternative is, 
higher risk, you'll probably die, but you'll get the money that much more quickly. Except there isn't really a quicker way to get this money. Like, if I had ISIS pendant, there would be a quicker way to get this money, but I do not currently have the ISIS pendant, so... Then you are using dominant strategy. The laws, my friends. It's not just a rule. It is God. Mm. Yeah, what I was doing, what I was actually doing there was checking to make sure, because uh, I knew that there was a chest in um, in uh, Gate of Guidance that I hadn't actually gotten yet, but I forgot uh, the reason why. The reason why, obviously, was because, well, unfortunately for me, it was uh, it was a cursed chest, so I didn't have access to open it. Yeah, I finally get it. Not yet. It's called the Twin Labyrinth, and there are twin there are twin flames circling around each other. Uh, that is not why it's called the Twin Labyrinth. The Twin Labyrinth is called the Twin Labyrinth because this it because this is where the ori uh, the uh, the hero the are you familiar with the hero? Uh, is it Perseus? Yeah, the the hero Perseus and and uh, and his quest. Yeah, of course. But per Perseus was the one. I mean, I don't, I don't know why he was tasked with slaying the Gorgon Medusa, but he was the one who figured out that with his well-polished shield that he could repel Medusa's stone-making glaze uh, gaze and ends up cutting her head off. Yes. Well, one of the other things that uh, that one of the the one of the Theseuses did, I forget <laughs> if it's Perseus or Theseus, um, is uh, he, he was tasked with capturing uh, with ca with capturing the twin snakes and delivering them and delivering them to Hermes, which is how he which is how Hermes got his uh, twin snake staff. Yeah, I mean, I bet I bet Homer has a lot to say on the behaviors of the gods, putting them in epic poetry as he did. That is a giant shopkeeper. Yes. Yeah. All right, and so now that we have the, addition, the additional sacred orb, we're gonna go do this lava dive again. We're at 224 HP. That's what I said we needed to be at last time. Let's see if this will work. On a scale of one to ten, one being never and ten being always, how often should games put in a nice version of a character and an evil version of a character who you can kill? Um, four. <laughs> Good answer. I am mostly ambivalent to that, but to be perfectly honest, if they're going to do it, then if they are going to do it, then they had better do it well. And the thing is, I don't trust a lot of game developers to actually do that particular storyline well. Well, just that, like, yeah, you get used to seeing the character and his enemy counterpart, and then you see the nice version of it, and you're like, oh, I can, I can talk to you. There. It worked. Very nice. Very nice. I I, apl I applaud you for doing that because you know what, man? If it gets the fucking win, then you won the game. <laughs> That's all that matters. Right. <laughs> Again, we're supposed to have ice skate by now, but unfortunately, I have not yet found the ice skate. So. That's what we. That's what we ended up doing in order to bypass the ice cave, get enough health to go into it, and now we will be. We are setting up for what is my least favorite boss in the game. No, your health still doesn't recover all that much more quickly. It, it still recovers two. Years. It's recovering at two right now. After the next sacred orb, it'll start recovering at three per tick. That that'll be nice. Well, I mean, what it does is uh, gives you less time to sit on the john. Think about what's going on. Make sure, make sure to jump over that pitfall, or else you will end up in the lava. Yeah. Damn choo-choos. 